Hey guys, welcome back, Carter Bitsby Trip. And real quick one today, we're gonna go through the ASUS 3090, what we're gonna be doing here this week with that. But before that, we are hosting some little puppies. This, uh, we usually foster pretty regularly. Miss BBT has such a kind heart to make sure that these little guys find homes. So we're hosting a handful of little puppies right now. They're not even eight weeks yet. They're gonna go up for adoption here soon. Little guys trying to discover life here. Like, what's going on? They just opened up their eyes. They are trying to figure out what's going on. Like, what is this camera in my face, little guy? Look at these two trying to figure it out, too. So, we will have some information if you guys are in the St. Louis area and you're looking for a puppy. I think that these little guys will go pretty quick. They're a mix between a beagle and something else. We don't know. Uh, it was a the rescue. The mom was pregnant and had you know it was ready for some puppies and we just took her and had the puppies birthed here so just a little side cut for you guys to see something a little different all right guys so now we're back on the test bench here so today on this quick video is just really the setup of what's coming over the next couple days so what we're going to do is we're going to do a live stream tomorrow on twitch so this is a shameless plug for the twitch whenever we were doing a lot of the testing kind of the iterative longer version testing. We're opening up a new update to the spreadsheet when it comes to collection of information. We have almost 70 GPUs here, all different types. And I'm gonna be going through those with the latest miners and the drivers, both for simple mining, uh, Hive OS and Windows for the folks that are mining in Windows. And we're gonna get a, a latest update but a lot of that testing is gonna be done live and that live testing is gonna happen on Twitch. So it's gonna be like the some of the older format videos that we used to do where we did a lot of the longer streams, a lot more chill on the, um, when it comes to the, the agenda and it is just an observe report type of stream to where we plug in something like this that we're gonna do first. We're gonna start with the RTX 3090. That's the ASUS, um, the, one of their latest versions. And we're going to do the full testing across the board when it comes to several algorithms and circumstantially those algorithms have several different coins tied to them. So if we're talking F hash, we'll test ETC cash with like ETC F hash for Ethereum, Ubik, which has Ubik cash. Uh, so those things will be like in one category. Then you'll have like the prog pal kind of category, which will be like Raven coin using that. We'll have Ergo and it's a particular algorithm. VTC has its own algorithm. Feather coin, and I'm actually trying to get a SHA-256 miner working for Bitcoin, so like CG miner, just to show you guys like why people don't do um, mining with GPUs directly for Bitcoin, but having a Bitcoin in a script miner, you know, where you could do Litecoin with Dogecoin as a, a merge mine, just to show you. It's not something I would recommend at all, but people want to know like what's a modern day GPU get hash rates on that, and I think that would be an interesting you know, uh, calculation, being able to observe and just see, you know, is there like an older GPU that actually does pretty good with it or not? Um, it, it will never compete with the ASICs or any of the FPGA bit streams, but it's just from uh, a science project is I think pretty a fun task. Uh, so each of those will be tested. Some of the GPUs are going to be tested in a unique way where we're going to do a kind of stock cooler, like we're going to do with this RTX 3090. And then we're going to replace, you know, we're going to have all the cooling um, aspects recorded. So we'll check memory, junction, temperature, core temperature using the stock cooler and the stock memory pads. And then some of those GPUs like this one are going to have the GPU tore down. And we'll have a video that shows what the difference is with like new thermal pads, what size of pads we were using, where to get those pads in the most cheap, efficient way. And then different heating, uh, uh, different uh cooling solutions when if it comes to new uh, thermal grease you know if we're talking like thermal knot or arctic silver you know testing those uh performances and then going extreme where we actually put a piece of indium there which is a you know kind of top shelf solution when it comes to thermal um, transfer so i think that you guys will like this series it's kind of complimentary coming out of the noob series that we've had on youtube that hopefully you guys have been liking. We still have a few more things to cover on that noob series. And then we're going to get into a lot of this kind of observe report down to the GPU. We're also going to have some ASIC reviews coming out 
that uh, if you guys want us to do a teardown and then see if there's any kind of thermal uh, change with any of the, you know, indium or any of that to like really targeted for the kind of the smaller shop that want to see, does it make sense to possibly spend a little extra to get more efficiency out of your unit? I think it's again, observe report, see what the power is. Of course we have the tools here. We have being able to catch it from the wall. We have inline testing tools to be able to catch it from the PCIe and the actual riser. So all those would be also things that are captured. Hopefully you guys stick around, like, subscribe, and share. This is like straight up mining to its core of how things work all the way down to the algorithm level and the different coins. And then where we can, we'll get into some of the DeFi, some of the Solana. I know a lot of people have been asking Solana, Polkadot, you know, looking at how do you interact? How do you create nodes with those? So, so much good content coming away. We have Ray, the intern. We have Vanessa doing the video editing. So we're building up the BBT team because you guys are sharing and liking these videos and we're trying to bring the content to you. So thanks again, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.